Okay, good afternoon, uh, everybody. And we are uh, discussing about post-colonial criticism, uh, and we are trying to apply uh, some of the ideas of post-colonial criticism uh, in uh, popular cinema, uh, Bollywood cinema, uh, and try to see that how we can read uh, this cross-cultural interactions, uh, cross-cultural interactions, and uh, uh, something that we can keep in mind uh, when we look at. Yesterday we had seen film Lagan, and we tried to discuss several aspects. Obviously, those things will be relevant for this film that is Rang De Basanti also. But apart from that, we also will see a few more uh, interesting things. Uh, one of the things that we can keep in mind here uh, uh, as we enter into the discussion is uh, one is that uh, anti-colonial and post-colonial. We have these two words, anti-colonial and post-colonial. So, why we don't use the word anti-colonial, but we use the word post-colonial. So when we go into nomenclature, or we try to see that uh, why why it is not because uh, at one level post-colonial is also seen as anti-colonial. You might be seeing, and uh, as we see that yesterday we were talking that uh, cricket. Uh, why still we st we play cricket? Or somebody would ask that why still we speak English language? Why still we teach British literature? Why we teach? That is that. That were the questions which were raised by uh, many African writers, uh, Gugiwa Thiongo, uh, Chinua Achebe. They all were questioning uh, that why. Uh, so the first thing that all these colonized, uh, once upon a time colonized uh, uh, nations, they should do is to stop their English departments. They should stop their English departments, uh, uh, and they, they should stop teaching British literature. Uh, uh, or uh, in any form. Uh, uh, so that is that is when you are doing that or when you are thinking in that line, you are anti-colonial. You are anti-colonial. Now there is a difference between what is anti-colonial and post-colonial. So when we see post-colonial uh, idea uh, or the concept, then we find that obviously it is, it is anti-colonial, post-colonial is obviously it is anti-colonial, but it is not only anti-colonial. It is not there to to just argue against coloniality huh, or colonialism or for that matter white people huh, or the westerners huh, and to hate anything that is western huh. sometimes we know that uh, in our discourses in our society huh, we see that there is a language that anything that is western is to be hated anything western is to be seen as derogatory huh, and and we use uh, the the very word western in a more derogatory way, abusive way, eh? also eh? in many ways. So, uh, 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 wherever it is required and necessary, it will try to question eh? the, the Westerners' knowledge systems, uh, Westerners' discourse about us, Westerners' uh, historiography about us, that all we may question. Now, see, when we use the word, we have to question, we have to doubt. It, it doesn't mean that we have to hate also. Huh? It doesn't mean we have to hate. So uh, many times we, we take that word that, well, this these things are to be hated because they did these this bad things to us as, as a nation, uh, as, 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 as a people, as, as a caste, uh, as, as a race. Anywhere, uh, we see it, it should be hated. But no, that is not uh, the message. It is not to be hated uh, 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 as such. So, a uh, post-colonial argument uh, includes uh, anti anti-colonialism, but along with that, it also is assimilation with uh, coloniality. Uh, assimilation. So, you are uh, in assimilation. What we see when many times we use uh, 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 people like Mahatma Gandhi, who were uh, uh, who were also involved into this anti-colonial movement. We use them and uh, 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 their quotes, or we 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 cite quotes from uh, sometimes from the ancient uh, Sanskrit literature from Veda Rupanishad also to tell that uh, India India stands for openness. India stands for openness and like uh, people quote Mahatma Gandhi that we should keep windows uh, of our home open for all kinds of winds. We should keep our windows open. So whatever uh, from whichever direction the wind is coming, it should be allowed to, to, to blow inside. And whatever good is there, it should be assimilated. Whatever good is there, it should be assimilated. It is not that you, you shut down your doors and windows. It is not that, well, Paschim, from that everything should be 
shut down. Not that is not uh, the the post colonial argument. And so we get assimilation. So we find uh, characters even in our uh, anti colonial narration uh, narration or when you are talking about. Uh, the freedom fighters who were very much anti-white people uh, or they wanted to kill even there there is white people uh, who is who is involved positively into the making of uh, something like in rang de basanti making of a documentary uh, is done by uh, 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 a white uh, white actress uh, white women and but she is involved into uh, uh, looking at this uh, so that aspect and we also we we assimilate our english language our clothes are also very much western eastern there is uh, the adoption there is adoption uh, adoption and then we also adapt in many ways where our writer starts winning uh, 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 this uh, uh, very uh, esteemed uh, awards in english language or even uh, even if we take cricket as a sign then we also master the game of cricket where we find that the leading uh, the leading cricketers either men or women they are coming from india so they are the leaders now in making of records also either men or a women yesterday i shared one post in whatsapp also afterwards about mitali raj which is lots of coming in newspaper and maybe a film also is coming now very soon perhaps tapsi pannu is playing a role and that film also is almost ready for a release on mitali raj's life we had many films on mahendra singh dhoni uh, uh, mohammad azruddin Uh, or even this um, Sachin Tendulkar, uh, but still uh, we uh, do not have uh, a film on female cricketer. We have on Mary Kom, we have a boxer, uh, and, and that way we have uh, the films also. So, uh, uh, but assimilation uh, is something that is very interesting to see that how both the cultures. So, what they learn from us and what we learn from them. If you want to use this word. Uh, uh, they and us, uh, they and if you want to demark uh, this in in this argument, then what they learn from us. So, so we have studied like uh, 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 transcendentalist, transcendentalist were highly influenced by Indian philosophy. They were very much under the influence of Indian philosophy. So American transcendentalism is they have assimilated, they have taken lot many good things from Indian philosophy without any such. hesitation that these are the brown people we should not take their ideas so then and then we have writers like t s eliot who in uh, the works like uh, the westland also uh, uh, very openly uh, takes ideas from buddhism from upanishad in 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 the in a great one of the greatest poem of poem uh, uh, poems of 20th century yes so that 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 also we have and many innumerable writers are there who have uh, gained from indian knowledge system so or their contact with india also was beneficial to that side also and obviously it was very much beneficial to this side also so there there are many ways that the modernity of india also becomes a part of that so there is assimilation in and you study assimilation that how that assimilation is happening and who is gaining what from where and you have a problem you can discourse on that well still i have a problem here and so shashi tharur will come and say that okay fine you say you have given us modernity democracy this but you also have given us poverty you should not forget that you have given us poverty and even when there was famine and other thing your prime minister winston churchill had no 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 humanity at all so you have no right to speak about humanity you you are not civilized people you have no right to tell that we are here to civilize the world that argument also is possible in in, in the same uh, discourse uh, there then uh, there is also self exploration uh, there is also self exploration that happens in in this post colonial uh, thing so the way we adopt we adapt we adapt and then uh, uh, how we we try to see ourselves now uh, and and when we look at ourselves then we find our writers uh, take a very interesting advantage of that position uh, and uh, Uh, and the the nationalist wanted to say that we are the best and these people are not not civilized we are not bar we are the best now our writer will say that no we are not the best we also need to learn a lot and in many ways west can give us a good example also if it is not that everything that the west has done or doing is excellent and very good to be mimicked there is a word mimicry mimicry which is used by homi baba hybridity and mimicry so maybe in our next discussion we will talk about hybridity mimicry also so it is not to mimic the westerner in everything 
and to speak english like them or to do everything like them it is not so but if there is any good thing uh, uh, then then we have to self explore ourselves and whatever limitations we find we have to eradicate those limitations so for example uh, if raja ram mohan roy was working for the eradication of sati pratha uh, sati tradition then he was obviously influenced by the westerners also and they also gave him moral courage so raja ram mohan roy can you imagine that he won't be hated by our people you know even today you speak a single statement against something that is religious and traditional then people are hated like anything the last who again is a not in that way a reformist but is a religious person and yet when he made remark about krishna and then ahir samaj was very unhappy and and then there were almost kind of a violent physical attack on morari bapu also when he said this or when he talked about nilkant then swami narayan sampraday people were also unhappy and they also uh, almost verbally attacked morari bapu in the lots of uh, discourse uh, fight uh, among the followers of this nilkant and that nilkant so these are happening today also right? and we know that normal people will be afraid of such kind of thing and they will remain silent even these people who might have spoken something even if they are very powerful like morari bapu had its own power influence Uh, uh, but still uh, he will uh, be very careful next time to to speak so imagine if raja ram mohan roy is trying to eradicate something that is uh, this kind of pratha and that also being followed by kshatris <laughs> then imagine what kind of backlash might have come if you can today if you just make a film padmavat and yet your theaters are being ransacked or uh, there is tapli dao with director <laughs> then uh, uh, he was really talking that well these are not satyas you should not kill people then what might be uh, the kind of uh, the aggression that raja ram mohan roy would have faced but he in, in that way he might have been supported by the raj uh, by the people in the british raj and they might have supported him that your your movement is right so that way we can say that well had it not been the british raj then then raja ram mohan roy and his sati sati pratha might have got any any positive uh, outcome or not uh, because we compare that with today we compare that with today and today we find that similar way if anybody is trying to make such a reformist statement or trying to reform people then what is happening to those people they they are they are violently attacked they verbally and in all all manners also uh, they are murdered also many of them were killed also uh, in, in maharashtra many of the people who were trying to develop scientific temperament uh, they were considered as anti religious and they are murdered uh, also dabolkar is the name that i remember dabolkar in maharashtra uh, there are few others are there uh, maybe i will share the link later on so uh, this this is this, that is the condition today then imagine uh, what might be the condition then uh, when film padmavat was to be released uh, which again had a problem with the, the very idea about sati uh, uh, there then so many ministers so many chief ministers uh, from gujarat uh, rajasthan maharashtra uh, madhya pradesh they they also openly said that well film will not be released so see imagine imagine this uh, imaginary narrative also is facing such a kind of a thing then in real life in raja ram mohan roy might be doing what kind of uh, challenges he might have faced but if there is british raj who is ready to support reformations uh, and eradication of superstitions then that is possible so we had arya samaj uh, working there dayanand saraswati functioning there raja ram mohan roy there and many other similar kind of reformists working in different ways even if you read minutely swami vivekanand then you will find that swami vivekanand also had made uh, uh, the comments on hindu religion uh, which even today would be very difficult to make <laughs> in that way he has uh, made all these comments and even when the issue of cow eating of cow came he was there to say that in vedic time uh, the beef was eaten in india beef was eaten in india he has given a, a lecture on that also which is available uh, on online resources also so as a vedic scholar as a vedic scholar he he said that yes uh, it was eaten uh, in india by rushis uh, by by rajas by kshatris it was uh, not that it was not eaten so uh, uh, imagine today if somebody is trying to uh, say such a kind of a thing then then what would happen then what would happen to uh, those, those people so uh, but why they were able to make those statements because there was uh, uh, the raj uh, the british raj and perhaps they wanted to have
this or they 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 like to destroy Hinduism and so they are allowing these kinds of statements or oh, breaking of tradition that if you want to also it. but without that support that might not happen so self-exploration when we do so that point that uh, are we not supposed to question if there is a problem in our society that that uh, when when I question my own problems am I uh, people may say that you are colonized so you are looking at yourself like the the westerners a loko ne evi chate ke tame tamari same e rite juo ke tame sao kharab cho tame sao uneducated cho tame sao corrupt cho tame superstitious cho evu e apne apne same jova magta hata etle apne em na jovu joye e jare hu kau chu tiyare hu anti colonial chu par post colonial ma to anti colonial sathe self exploration pan chhe etle hu jare e joto hu ke मारे त्या पण क्या पावर स्ट्रक्चर्स रहेला छे पावर स्ट्रक्चर्स अने ए कई रीते कॉलोनाइज्ड करे छे अने ए कई रीते एक्सप्लॉइट करे छे बिजा सबालचर्न आइडेंटिटीज ने सो दैट आल्सो बिकम्स वेरी इंपोर्टेंट टू बी सीन आल्सो सो इन दिस कॉन्टेक्स्ट व्हेन यू एंटर इनटू रंगदे बसंती देन यू विल फाइंड टू सी दैट देयर आर टू पैरेलल स्टोरीज गोइंग ऑन टू प्लॉट्स आर देयर वन इज अबाउट मेकिंग डॉक्यूमेंट्री एंड सो वी कम टू नो अबाउट the freedom strugglers who are fighting against the british raj so that is going on in colonial element and then you have the modern india you have globalized india so there is the element of globalization what happens because of globalization and how literature looks at globalization which we are going to see much deeply in in uh, uh, our article which we are going to study but we are getting some examples here so Uh, we will we will see uh, with with the citation of the work by arjun appa durai arjun appa durai so uh, arjun appa durai uh, he says uh, this that uh, if if rangde basanti produces a fantasy uh, of what a western consumer wants from india it also asks should we give western consumers what they want through these various aesthetics and political registers the film enacts broader questions about colonial fantasy masculinity national identity and modernity as well as the rhetoric of martyrdom and terrorism in a period of what arjun appa durai refers to as high globalization high globalization appa durai's coinage high uh, uh, globalization allows us to think of the aesthetics of various modernities across multiple locations without invoking the temporal demarcations of the post modern and post colonial yeah. so how this uh, uh, tries to tell us about nation state idea the the shifting mindscapes uh, into uh, this that also becomes very uh, important uh, in this but about globalization which we know that is the is something that was happening in the first decade of this century yeah, first decade of this that was high globalization and how uh, that also affected india and in what way it affected globalization when we try to question it was like globalization came with an idea that it will give everybody uh, uh, everybody uh, a kind of a freedom uh, a choices uh, and uh, gave more opportunities for jobs people will become richer uh, equal distribution of wealth everything will happen globalization that is how it it started coming and then what started what we started visualizing was that it came with lots of corruption it came with lots of corruption also and third world countries for them to control the corruption became very very challenging task uh, under globalization when the private companies from all over the world started moving uh, and they started becoming multinational companies or they started becoming transnational companies at that time uh, one of the things that happened uh, was that for the third world countries who were still not having a very strong democratic structures or uh, the human development index was not much higher uh, poverty was still there uh, in this countries at that time when this happened then corruption started spreading uh, corruption a lot uh, uh, this and few people started becoming very rich and then this rich people started having nexus with the political people in democracy and so they started making their own rules in parliament and then they allowed this this kind of exploitation to happen a lot in this 
Now, uh, to answer this, the second story eh, that is moving in Rangde Basanti becomes very interesting. Eh? So, at one hand, you have this freedom struggle who are fighting against anti colonialism. The, the young generation to find an answer for that. Eh? So, that is uh, where the globalization is connected uh, into this narrative uh, uh, also. So, these are some of the windows uh, to open. Uh, 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 the, the film into post-colonial studies. Eh? Through these windows, we try to peep inside. And then uh, we will ask you, what else have you seen? Eh? What are your observations about uh, this film uh, through post-colonial insights? Yes. So uh, uh, let us start then. We can. Uh, uh, I invite you one by one to come and uh, uh, let us know what are the things that you have identified eh, in this uh, film eh, uh, through the lenses of post-coloniality. Yes, who will be coming first? Yes, sir. May you make I... your own choices and whoever is ready, you can start the discussion. Yes, sir. Shall I start? Hello, sir. Yes, who will be first to sir. initiate whatever observations you have? Yeah, I'm not able to listen your words. Yes, yeah, can you speak? Yes, sir. May I start? Are you speaking? Yeah, okay. Let me check my sound. <clears throat> yeah, here I think sound is okay. Are you, can you speak again? Yes, sir. Am I audible? No. Uh, uh, are other students able to listen there? Yes, you sir. sir. Yes. I think there yes. is some problem. Let me re rejoin again. Yeah. Or let me see here if I can. Yes, can you speak again? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, okay, yes, now here I'm getting your sound. Okay, fine. Ah, yes, you can you can continue. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, when we look at this, uh, am I audible, sir? Ah, yes, you are audible. Continue. Yeah. So, when we look at this film as a post colonial way, then we can find uh, some interesting thing. Uh, first thing I have noted down is that uh, when, uh, when the female uh, character uh, 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 come from the London uh, at airport, she came on Indian airport. So, at that time, uh, how Indian people are gathered to meet her and uh, 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 India, uh, all Indian people are very excited to meet her. So here we can find the, uh, the impact of white people on the mind of our uh, Indians. Uh, so this is the first thing and the other, um, uh, uh, the scene of bribe, bribe when uh, uh, DJ, DJ give bribe to the policeman. So uh, it, this scene is a very common, common to the Indian people. But uh, when she look at him, uh, she, she is very surprised uh, that uh, how corruption is happening in India and all. And uh, uh, when when uh, when she try uh, uh, one dialogue from she is that uh, in logo in logo ne chan di thi ajati ke liye tumhare desh ki. So here, uh, this dialogue represents that, uh, that these Indian characters don't know uh, anything about uh, uh, anything or they don't focus on their own country. So she came and she tried to awaken uh, them for freedom and patriotism. Patriotism And, uh, and the other thing is when, when Daljit and Pandey fight uh, each, each other, and uh, at that time she tried to patch up them. And uh, so if we look at the patri patriotism theory, uh, we can say that why uh, white people required for better, or why Indian uh, Indian uh, aren't able to do uh, all these things. So uh, these uh, two or three points I have noted down for this movie. What was the last point that you said? After the police bribe? Uh, after the bribe to police then? Uh, then, uh, then the dialogue from Shu that uh, in logo ne jaan di thi, in logo hmm. ne jaan di thi, ajati ke liye tumhare desh ki. Hmm. Okay, then? So, uh, then the point, uh, DJ and Pande fighting each other and uh, Shu try to catch up them. Hmm. Okay, yeah, okay. Okay, fine.
Okay, so uh, 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 this point is uh, very well. We can see here that when the uh, the white people come to India, how uh, there is a kind of a madness. There is uh, to to uh, to uh, take photographs with white people, to talk with them, or uh, to like there are all those people who wanted to uh, uh, take some economical benefit from that. Uh, that you can come in my auto rickshaw, come in my my taxi, and then you can take them, and you know that they will give more money uh, than the Indian customers. Indian, uh, rather than that, you can uh, always take more money. They are not aware about the the normal costing in India, so you can always ask two, three times more money from that. So that is how uh, this this people are getting around uh, <coughs> this, this uh, uh, people. So Indian mentality, uh, rather a low poor mentality, gets reflected in this. Uh, that how do the people react uh, in that context? Uh, corruption is again uh, becoming an integral part of India uh, in everything that people do. They have to. Uh, in one or the another way, uh, uh, different forms of corruptions that it, it normally keeps on happening, and it is a part and parcel of life. So normally people don't question also that uh, if, if you want to do wrong thing and you do corruption, then it is okay. But even in a rightful manner, also uh, in India, corruption is a is a way of life. You can it is a lubricant. It is a lubricant uh, which will uh, uh, see that your work uh, happens very quickly uh, in different. Uh, context. So that is also something that is observed here. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, uh, then who else will say? Uh, may I, sir? Uh, yes. Uh, am I audible? Uh, yes, you are audible. Uh, some of the point I have noted down that uh, first, uh, like uh, uh, British people uh, still think that uh, in, in, in the movie, uh, I have considered that she is going with her all uh, diary and uh, all uh, he, uh, her uh, she has all kind of material and she want to make a, a documentary first in uh, in her place but uh, that uh, team deny to her because uh, they all i think that it is not uh, um, very valuable then she came to india so it shows that uh, the the white people still think that uh, we are not uh, very cool uh, very civilized they are still who want to rule on us and uh, then uh, another uh, the important thing that current father want to uh, send him for the foreign study so still we are indian thing then uh, uh, sir sorry but i'm heard of my echo sound that is why i, I have a problem to speaking hello N now speak uh, yes N now not uh, echo sound is not coming so uh, we Indian, uh, we still think that foreign culture or foreign studies is the more valuable than our studies. So this point I have considered, uh, and uh, also they have pointed down some of the interesting uh, things. So uh, I have also noted down that all things, and uh, one of the interesting thing I have considered the uh, the mentality of uh, Indian men uh, when. Uh, uh, Mm, uh, when a uh, fighter, uh, that one character who is uh, Sonia as a boyfriend, went to the uh, fighting uh, or uh, in a military, um, uh, uh, her uh, mother said that Tum bhi uske pair chhu to she she is telling that in India me striyo ki bas yehi izat hai ki hume sa purusho ke charno me hi raho hum kabi nahi sudrenge. So it it is very important point. The, this movie not only discuss only that uh, post colonial theory, but we can uh, consider so many things like uh, it consists the history, feminism, uh, corruption, uh, how Indian government ruled, and uh, so many aspects this movie reveals. So this is my observation about movie. Thank you, sir. Unmute your mic. Yeah. Okay. Couple of points that we can see here is. Uh, uh, this that uh, there is this conflict between uh, uh, the, uh, between Gandhi and revolutionaries, Gandhi versus revolutionaries. So when Su Su is not getting funds uh, from the university to make a documentary or do research in this area, they, uh, she suggested that well Gandhi is selling, Gandhi is selling. Revolutionaries don't sell. In other countries, it is Gandhi who is more valuable than 
revolutionaries but but uh, the film uh, the film and uh, the, uh, the 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 statement that film is making but apart from that during the same time we have seen that so many films based on bhagat singh has been released uh, three four films based on shahid bhagat singh uh, came uh, out one was a uh, very famous one by rajkumar santoshi uh, directed by rajkumar santoshi where ajay devgan played role of uh, of uh, bhagat singh one was another rather more masala film where bobby deol uh, played a role of bhagat singh and you will find lot many of those films in a in a in a short span of time was emerging so uh, 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 which is the year in which this film is released which year in 2006 2006 huh? so uh, during this time uh, uh, this uh, first 5 7 uh, years when we have also seen that first time for a long duration uh, bjp also is coming in power huh? in india atal bihari vajpay is the prime minister and that is seen as the rise of uh, nationalistic fervor in india also nationalism nationalistic fervor is on the rise and with that there is much of uh, of the demand uh, for for the revolutionaries and their stories to be revived huh? revolutionary story rather than gandhi so gandhi may still be selling in foreign countries but in india perhaps uh, uh, gandhi was uh, uh, was uh, not much sellable uh, as compared to the revolutionaries uh, and the, the, the fervor of violence aggression uh, that was also growing in indian uh, subconscious or uh, uh, the, the indian young people uh, also which obviously has aggravated in our time also uh, that, that streak of celebrating uh, the revolutionaries Uh, their aggression their violence is becoming even more popular in our times also in our times which which sometimes materialize materializes in form of lynching other people so when you have that temperament that well i want to do something i want to be bhagat singh i want to be chandrasekhar azad i want to but there are no 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 enemy eh? where is enemy there were gora people but here there are no so you will make an enemy and eh? who are who is been turned into enemy muslims other religious identity now is is made uh, uh, into enemy by political speeches and so they will kill some muslims huh? will be lynched uh, and, and 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 that is how it is uh, aggravating huh? in different forms uh, also uh, 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 that there is a very interesting study in, in a similar line uh, about uh, this uh, uh, this uh, aggression uh, 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 that was growing and which was perceived by many of the film makers In, in the iconography of uh, hanuman ji also uh, let me just uh, find one uh, yeah. yes, so the aggression growing aggression that the point about uh, point about self exploring ourselves and then we find that uh, the beginning of the this century itself uh, in last 20 years we have seen it was growing and our cinema was narrating all those things by giving more value to revolutionaries rather than gandhi and then we were uh, seeing uh, uh, this so uh, let me share this screen uh, let me share the link uh, in in chat also so later on if you thoroughly wants to uh, go through it uh, then also you can just bookmark uh, the link so in in this time uh, what we see is that we see suddenly the 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 uh, the uh, this iconography of uh, hanuman ji Uh, also style hanuman ji you see iconography is a is a good good sevak uh, uh, he is uh, is uh, there you can see the, don't see an aggression in in hanuman ji uh, this images uh, or he is full of bhakti bhav uh, is full of bhakti bhav that that is what we normally see uh, in in this image of hanuman ji but how it changes uh, how this iconography uh, of uh, simple sober uh, 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 somebody who is full of bhakti bhav for ram sita uh, 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 and how it 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 becomes a kind of an aggressive hanuman here yeah? so you see the iconography of uh, uh, hanuman ji uh, angry hanuman uh, so th this this became more popular uh, in in our time in our time this image of hanuman ji started becoming very popular and people started having the stickers uh, stickers on uh, the, their vehicles on on t-shirts uh, so uh, 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 auto rickshaws uh, bikes uh, everywhere they start putting uh, this so this uh, uh, how we see that how uh, this was raja ravi verma who portrayed this but anman ji in none of this iconography was was uh, so aggressive uh, as we have seen in recent times uh, this aggression that has grown 
in, in this way uh, also. So that that can be connected. That something was rising. Uh, something was rising, and we had not realized that it can become so dangerous for our own societies also. That because so then there were British Raj. Uh, you you had an agenda that we want to remove them out, and so you have a cause uh, for violence. But now when you have your own people in power. Uh, and uh, and you are supported by people in power so with whom are you going to fight tame koni same ladso to tamara mate ek enemy taiyar kari devama ave kane aa dushman che to e dushman sena aadhare bane che dharm na aadhare bane che ke apre bada aa dharm na ane aa vidharmi loko apra dushman and that is where it is diverted uh, that tension and that is very harmful uh, that is very dangerous uh, thing to be seen Rang de Basanti starts with this idea and then diverts into uh, a very significant idea to see that well uh, we have to come out from Hindu Muslim uh, debate uh, or discussion and so there is that reminder uh, that Asfaqullah Khan uh, also played a vital role uh, Muslims also played a vital role uh, into that but well we have not taken that lesson uh, so so well in subsequent time uh, about Asfaqullah Khan or the the youngsters fighting uh, based on one is a hindu another is muslim uh, on that that also there is lots of fight uh, that is going on uh, there which also that film wanted to say and they wanted to say that you are people you have to come together and then there are other enemies uh, enemies are there but those enemies are now uh, now now controlling your uh, subconscious they are controlling so youngsters are doing what uh, they wanted them to be done uh, that so that way also film becomes very significant uh, another point was about education education in foreign countries and and how that also can be seen or was seen by many people or even today so uh, uh, again uh, we have to make that point also very clear because we believe in this idea of assimilation also it is not everything anti colonial had it been anti colonial then we would say that why should we go to study in foreign country why should we play cricket why should we we speak english language why should we have english department that all will be coming together na, in the same idea but we assimilate and we think that wherever the best education is uh, uh, available we one should go uh, irrespective of which country it is uh, because you have to go for quality uh, rather than well this were once upon a time rulers that that were once upon so we have to come out from that so that is very important Uh, to be seen that what what we say today so those people who go outside india to study we are not supposed to hate them because this language can lead towards hatred jo je koi baat apne nafrat taraf le jati hoy etle apre pasu chokan no thai javu pade ke na e debate karvane chhe discussion karvano chhe discourse pan karvano chhe pan jo e tamne em ke ke ave ane ane dushman mane ne nafrat karo je gori chamdi na hoy badane nafrat karo je muslim hoy ne nafrat karo જે ફોરેન ભણવા જાય એને નફરત કરો ધેન ધેર ઇઝ અ પ્રોબ્લેમ બધા ડિગ્રી ધારીઓ ચોર છે ના ધેર ઇઝ અ પ્રોબ્લેમ યુ કાન્ટ સે ધેટ ઓલ ડોક્ટર્સ આર આ ચીટર્સ નો યુ કાન્ટ સે ધેટ યુ કાન્ટ સ્ટીરિયોટાઇપ ધેટ ઇઝ વેર વી હેવ ટુ સેવ અવર સેલ્ફ અને એ ત્યાં જ એજ્યુકેશન એ રોલ પ્લે કરવાનો છે કે યુ કેન આઇડેન્ટિફાઈ રોંગ પીપલ વેરી વેરી ક્લિયરલી બટ ધ સેમ ટાઈમ યુ આર નોટ સપોઝ ટુ સ્ટીરિયોટાઇપ એવરીબડી લાઈક ધેટ અને ત્યાં જ્યારે આપણે ધ્યાન નથી રાખી શકતા ત્યારે આપણે ભાન ભૂલી જઈએ છે અને એક આખા સમૂહ ને નફરત કરવાની શરૂઆત કરી દઈએ છીએ એક રીતે જોવાની શરૂઆત આપણે કરીએ છીએ જે માનવતા માટે હંમેશા હાનિકારક રહ્યું છે હિસ્ટ્રી હિસ્ટ્રી ઇઝ ધ પ્રૂફ ઓફ દેટ દેટ વી હેવ ઓલવેઝ બીન બીન વેરી ક્રુઅલ ઇન ધ નેમ ઓફ ધ સ્ટીરિયો ટાઈપિંગ આઈડેન્ટિટીઝ ઇન વન ઓર ધ અનધર વેઝ સો ગોઈંગ પીપલ દેર ઇઝ નોટ અ પ્રોબ્લેમ બટ વેન યુ સે દેટ કોઈ વ્યક્તિ બહાર જતું હોય પણ એના ઘરના સદસ્યો અહીંયા બેઠા બેઠા આપણને કે તમે દેશ પ્રેમ કરો અને તમે સ્વદેશી ભાષા જ બોલો અને અમારા બાળકો અંગ્રેજી ભણશે અને એ વિદેશ જશે તો આપણે એ વ્યક્તિને સામે પ્રશ્ન કરીએ કે યુ શુડ નોટ ડુ ધીસ તમારે આમ ના બોલવું જોઈએ તમે દેન યુ હેવ ટુ ટેલ પીપલ કે ભાઈ ઇંગ્લિશ મીડિયમમાં ભણાવો એનો ફાયદો છે ફોરેનમાં ચાન્સ મળે તો જાઓ એનો ફાયદો છે બેનિફિટ છે દેટ ઇઝ વોટ યુ હેવ ટુ સે એટલે અહીંયા લોકોને એમ ભડકાવો કે દેશભક્તિ કરો હવે અહીંના લોકો જ નહીં એનઆરઆઈ પણ આપણને કહે છે કે તમે દેશભક્તિ કરો અને અમે અહીંયા બરાબર છે દેન યુ વિલ ક્વેશ્ચન ડિસ્કોર્સિસ અધરવાઇઝ ગોઈંગ ફોર એજ્યુકેશન ઇન એની કન્ટ્રી ક્વોલિટેટિવલી શુડ નોટ બી એવર અ પ્રોબ્લેમ શુડ નોટ બી ever a, a problem also but that point is very significant uh, in, in this aspect to those people 
who are trying to educate or trying to teach us the lesson of patriotism or nationalism uh, and they, then they are uh, uh, going abroad uh, in different capacity then it is uh, problematic also and it also speaks about uh, history and feminism uh, and many of those things also uh, 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 which are interrelated uh, in this uh, narrative yes yes okay who is next now to say something Sir, may I? Ha, yes yeah First of all, I would like to uh, uh, highlight one important line uh, which is said by Amir Khan. Sab apne apne raste nikal jayenge. College ke gate ke is taraf hum life ko nachate hai, to duji taraf life hum ko nachati hai. This um, lines I like it very much. This highlights the importance that we have to work hard no matter what. this film we see how when a foreign girl comes to shoot a film based on her grandfather's uh, diary uh, uh, at first she never finds seriousness in any of the characters uh, when she enters uh, a college university uh, so film this the film that she is going to shoot is based on the freedom fighters of uh, india against the britishers so, but that spirit is not seen in in uh, in, um, in any of the characters uh, as they have to act without any feeling or emotions. Uh, then, when one of their friend pilot Ajay Singh Rathod uh, dies in a plane crash uh, due to cheap parts used in making of the aircraft, aircraft all of them are shaken, uh, shaken and awakened. Uh, not because he died, but because the way the media and the government told that he was an unexperienced uh, pilot. Uh, he, he was not fit to uh, fly a plane. So, uh, he, uh, wrong uh, blames were uh, given on him that uh, the pilot was wrong and that in this way. Uh, so, yeah, after this, the real spirit came in all of the characters uh, which were sele selected for the film uh, by a foreign girl. So, then all of them came together to fight against the political leaders and their wrong deeds. Uh, they do protest at a place by candles uh, and giving speeches to media to show the truth, the reality of the government. Uh, so they are. Uh, so when they reveal the truth, they are beaten by the police. Um, as they were speaking the truth, the reality, but against the government. Uh, in this, in this, the mother of Ajay Singh Rathod is also badly injured, and uh, she goes to coma in hospital. And so this is the reality of our current times also, um, that police government and uh, political leaders only want uh, their power to be seen. Uh, so they don't want the truth to be revealed. They only want their own benefit and power. So they try to suppress everyone through violence and through power. So when the friends of Ajay Singh found all doors shut, uh, they have uh, found no way out, so they have to take the justice in their own hands. Uh, they killed the defense minister. Uh, but not only that, they also revealed the truth that they have killed uh, this person uh, to all over the world through radio, uh, radio station. They told that how corrupt and uh, uh, selfish uh, are the government people. This is actually based on real incident um, uh, which took place in 2005 in Allahabad where a bunch of poor students took the TV station there and they were also shot dead. Here also, all were killed in radio station. But they tried their best to show the real picture uh, behind the scene, the ugliness behind the fake beauty. Uh, corruption at the cost of the lives of other people. Uh, so this is also seen in the play All My Sons by Arthur Miller, where the defective parts are used for the planes. So here we see common people are like puppets in the hands of uh, government to whom we might have only selected so the core message is that we have to change ourselves this is not an easy task but can be done with uh, a lot of hard work and unity among all of us uh, anti-corruption day is also celebrated on 9th december to, hi uh, um, to highlight the importance um, uh, to find justice in uh, all the fields of education health and uh, other fields uh, this uh, uh, this tells that to stop and avoid corruption and uh, 
the four methods we can say in one line is that to awaken uh, to fight against corruption thank you okay uh, you have observed very interesting point but uh, also you have to keep in mind that as a post colonial critic what you are seeing and as a general audience what you are seeing what what as a general audience and as a post that demarcation you have to keep in mind so when you tell you can say that well you can see all these things also but uh, at the same time when it comes to uh, looking through post colonial sense this is what i am able to see so that demarcation is necessary so when you say that uh, college life uh, uh, is taraf na chahti hai that is not about post coloniality yes? post colonial critics uh, it is a very interesting line and it is uh, the truth about the human life uh, on uh, anywhere but not uh, uh, necessarily concerned with post colonial thing or uh, a good connection that you have made with arthur millers uh, all my sons where again there is a similar parallel thing uh, except for the thing that there uh, in arthur miller american uh, uh, writer who also like uh, fitzgerald questions uh, questions the the uh, this american dream uh, the concept of american dream he also is questioning in all my sons uh, arthur miller it's a classic uh, play uh, classic play uh, there it is son who is dying and then father uh, uh, commits suicide son is dying son was in air force and faulty parts were being sold to uh, american air force son dies and father is committing suicide whereas here Uh, son is killing father son is murdering father maybe the parallel would like to say that well here in india uh, such fathers would never commit suicide they will not be so sensible this uh, this uh, corporate uh, businessman uh, are doing lots of corruption they they would be more like ganda swami uh, the skin will be like ganda uh, and uh, they they would not uh, uh, dare to commit suicide uh, and so murder is the only perhaps we so uh, there is that son killing uh, the father uh, there but still this this also is not uh, uh, as such a post colonial uh, point uh, the important post colonial point you observed is this violence you know, violence and suppression by power by power whichever the power is earlier it was british raj and then power keeps on changing uh, and then there is but still there is violence there is a uh, suppression there is oppression uh, uh, over the other people uh, and very importantly uh, the scene of radio station uh, and the way the commandos come and kill uh, these youngsters they, uh, and then it is told to the world and uh, what is narrated to the world that the terrorist uh, they were the terrorist and and they were doing wrong thing and so uh, our commandos our army officers they killed the terrorists uh, that is the narrative and that is th that narration will sell everywhere it will come in the newspaper everybody will believe in that the commandos will be given some awards some chakras some uh, rewards also everybody will celebrate that so and so terrorists are killed the story of the power uh, the power that is the people in the power they want to tell that this people are good or bad that will sell in the market and the other people will always believe in the story of the power uh, the satta ma rahela loko let me let me find this uh, uh, exit words huh? ha let me share this Th that is what comes in, in this which is again a very interesting post colonial argument also so until the lion tells his side of the story the tale of the hunt will always glorify the hunter african proverb yeah? until the lion tells his side of the story the tale of the hunt will always glorify uh, the, the the hunter yeah? so if this has to happen uh, this like uh, uh, this then then what is necessary a uh, lion will have to tell the story but lion cannot tell the story yeah? but lion 
con cannot tell the story because lion do not have language again we come down to what is language who who controls language yeah? who controls language who gives meaning to language and then you will connect this with 1984 that language is controlled by the big brother the language is controlled by the people in the power they give meaning to the words they give meaning to the word they will say that this is a freedom struggler this is terrorist this is the one who is fighting against the corruption this is the one who is corrupt who will tell this who will tell who will define the people in the power they will define the thing so when colonialism's definition is written Uh, they will say that new settlement uh, in a new country a uh, new new land a uh, new settlement they will not tell uh, that there was massacre there was murder there was oppression there was suppression uh, there was violence all these words are removed from the definition of colonialism all these words are removed from uh, 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 the definition so who controls language uh, that is becoming very important and their narration becomes very significant uh, there so the youngsters from a university when they are murdering the minister and a businessman they are termed as terrorist and commandos are uh, are uh, are killing them in radio station and and the world comes to know that well good it is good that some of uh, the agents of isis some of the agents of taliban some of the agents coming from pakistan are killed uh, and we are safe uh, here we know the other story we know the story on the other side that who were those people and for what they were fighting but their story uh, will not reach to the other other people that is very interesting post colonial point that is very interesting language who controls uh, the language and how they have the power to give meaning to the words they have and once you give meaning to the words the words will give us world view the words will give us world view apni aakhi duniya ch એમના કબજામાં રહેતી હોય છે જેના કબજામાં ભાષા હોય છે એમના કબજામાં આખી દુનિયાને જોવાનો નજરિયો એ એના હાથમાં રહેતું હોય છે સો દેટ આ સમજાઈ જાય તો ઘણું બધું સમજાઈ જાય પોસ્ટ કલોનિયલમાં કલ્ચરલ સ્ટડીઝમાં આ બાબત જો બરાબર સમજાય તો દેન યુ વિલ વેન એવર ધ લેંગ્વેજ વિલ કમ ફ્રોમ ધ પાવર યુ વિલ બી એલર્ટ તમારી છઠ્ઠી ઇન્દ્રી ખુલી જશે કે આ ભાષા ક્યાંથી આવે છે સત્તામાં રહેલી વ્યક્તિ એ ધર્મ સત્તામાં રહેલી હોય રાજસત્તામાં રહેલી હોય વ્યક્તિ એ ત્યાંથી આવે છે સત્તા બોલે છે તો તમારે બરાબર બારીકાઈથી એ ભાષાને તપાસવી પડે યુ હેવ ટુ ચેક થોરોલી એવું નથી કે દરેક શબ્દ ખોટા જ હોય કે દરેક શબ્દમાં એક પોલિટિક્સ જ એવું નથી બટ યુ હેવ ટુ બી એલર્ટ વેન યુ સી દેટ દેટ ઇઝ વેરી ઇન્ટરેસ્ટિંગ પોસ્ટ કલોનિયલ પોઈન્ટ ઓફ વ્યુ હિયર ઓકે ઓકે ફાઈન યસ દેન હુ એલ્સ anybody else any other points which we have not discussed and you have observed any of the articles if you have studied and if you have anything from the articles if you want to ask or even if yes, you want may ha ah, yes yeah yes sir so my point of view is a uh, revolutionary people against uh, british colony so uh, in the this movie is the one scene of uh, kakori trend so in the movie one scene is a robbery so trans revolutionary stories the introduce revolutionary uh, uh, areas are planted and uh, exacted many acts uh, disturbing british colony rules so probably the most famous of uh, this is a kakori train robbery which is uh, also uh, depicted in the movie and uh, another example of bomb attack in british parliament Uh, and he says ek bada dhamaka karna padega tab desh ko uh, tab desh jagega so the british uh, uh, responded uh, by organizing uh, uh, intense uh, mehnat uh, and uh, capturing many of the conspir uh, conspirators uh, and uh, evolutionary hanging them for uh, their crimes uh, so sukhdev uh, bhagat si uh, uh, and uh, one uh, and uh, three person so in uh, another concept of our india so india also independence uh, found but uh, no one is a uh, freedom uh, someone is a uh, hand uh, has to uh, stay down uh, in this movie we can see that uh, while uh, fighting against the government uh, so at that time everyone had to suffer uh, suffer a lot of and after uh, all our uh, all our death so in uh, one dialogue in rangde basanti characters 
how nothing will change in the government and we cannot do anything about it is not worth worth it uh, staying yes please repeat your last line uh one dialogue uh, in the in this movie nothing will change in the government and we cannot do anything about it is not worth is uh, staying yeah you were talking about kakori uh, robbery case also huh? and then what you observed afterwards what you said in our india's government against like that uh, that you have to have a, 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 a bomb dhamaka huh? because ave angrezo ni sarkar behri thai gayi chhe e ave bomb na dhadaka vagar apri vat nahi sambhale that was that that point which uh, was there okay uh, okay uh, uh, yeah so uh, uh, this uh, this this point which is uh, uh, what the revolutionaries used to believe and uh, uh, there were group of people who were negotiate this is a point of history uh, history and if you are having a long battle uh, long very long uh, or you let us say you are having a war with uh, uh, with somebody at that time there are shortcuts and and long routes uh, there are shortcuts and long routes sometimes we find that uh, having violence uh, is a shortcut uh, is a shortcut and having negotiations uh, negotiations vartalap is the long route so there were a group of this people like uh, under under the influence of mahatma gandhi they were having a much a larger a larger and a very long battle long battle a kind of a war and they they wanted like gandhi wanted to say that we also want to give a message to the world and that message is about humanity khali angrezo ni same jiti jau angrezo pase thi raj lai levu athwa saru raj suraj ni sthapna karvi it is not only that but this is an opportunity it is because perhaps gandhi was able to realize that you are you are in the making of history this is a historical and ane itihas ma juna samay ma loko e hinsa karine potanu raj pachu lai lidu ch avu to gana e karu ch pan bijo koi vikalp hoy ke je bharat j vishwa ne aapi sake bijo koi vikalp evo hoy sake ke je which only india can give the nobody because you you require a very rich heritage of those thoughts any rich heritage hoy ane ena mate loko jeevi gya hoy mari gya hoy to e thai sake ane gandhi has read it like we had uh, the mantra of ahinsa coming from the ancient sanskrit literature to be materialized very effectively by buddhism and jainism jainism buddhism amra ahinsa no matra, mantra ekdam murti mant karelo ha jivan ma jeevi pan sakay e rite तो येट वोज देट देट नो नो बड़ी इन द वर्ल्ड केन डू विश्व बीजा लोग तमने हिंसा मार्गे चाली ने आजादी में दाखलाओ मैं विथ इज कॉल ब्लड लेस ब्लड लेस रिवोल्यूशन ब्लड लेस एट एवं नहीं कि ब्लड हूँ नहीं देर लॉट्स ऑफ ब्लड देर बट स्टील दीस दीस वोट वोट दे वेर टॉकिंग अबाउट नाउ वेन इन पॉस्टिरिटी एट वर्षो पी आप पाचड़ जाइने जुए तेरे अपन ने ख्याल आए कि the path of negotiations talking with the people ane e loko ne am realize karavu ke tame je karo chhe khotu chhe naitik rite khotu chhe you are morally wrong uh, uh, and so you have to leave the country e amne convince karavi ane pachi e loko apanne raj api ne jai that was a, 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 a great victory that was unimaginable victory loko mani na sake ke aa rite koi akhi atli moti amir colony india was one of the richest colony आज अंग्रेजों ने खूब वसवसो इंडियाली रॉंग बाय द इंडियन बार साबित कर छोड़ी देव जो आखा विश्व में तमारी किरकिरी थाई छे 
ત્યાંથી કેટલા બધા જર્નાલિસ્ટ આવેલા ફોટોગ્રાફર જર્નાલિસ્ટ હુ કેમ ટુ કવર ઇન્ડિયા એન્ડ અને જ્યારે પાછા જઈને લખે છે કે બધા એમ જ લખે મોટા ભાગના કે આપણે ભૂલ કરી રહ્યા છે આપણા લોકો મારે છે આ લોકો કોઈ સામે લાકડી લઈને ઉભું નથી નોબડી ઇઝ દેર કોઈ ડિફેન્સ પણ નથી કરતું અને વી આર બીટિંગ દેમ વી આર કિલિંગ દેમ અને લાકડીથી મારવા ઉપરાંત આપણે હવે એના ઉપર ગોલીઓ પણ વરસાવીએ છીએ આપણે હિંસા પણ કરીએ છીએ તો વી આર બેડ વી ડોન્ટ હેવ અ રાઇટ ટુ ટેલ દેટ વી આર સિવિલાઇઝ પીપલ આ અહેસાસ અંગ્રેજના લોકોને જેટલા લોકો અહીંયા આવે બધાને થયેલો ગાંધી સાથે રહી અને ઘણા બધા પત્રકારો આવતા ત્યાંથી દે ઓલ રિયલાઇઝ ધીસ દેટ વી આર એટ અ રોંગ પ્લેસ એન્ડ ધેન દેર વોઝ અ કાઇન્ડ ઓફ અ મોરલ વિક્ટરી ઓફ ઇન્ડિયન્સ વિચ ઇઝ અ વેરી અમેઝિંગ વેરી સરપ્રાઇઝિંગ એન્ડ દેટ્સ વાય વર્લ્ડ વાઇડ પીપલ ડુ બિલીવ ઇન ઇન ધ પાથ ઓફ ગાંધી અને એટલે જ ભારતથી તમે ક્યાંય પણ વિદેશ જતા હો વિદેશ તો ઠીક તમે તો આપણે ખાલી બીજા રાજ્યમાં જઈએ તો પણ લોકો એમ કે કે તમે તો ગાંધીના રાજ્યમાંથી આવો છો મહાત્મા ગાંધીના રાજ્યમાંથી આવો છો અને આપણે તો ગાંધીને નફરત કરતા હોય અહીંયા અહીંયા તો આપણને ગાંધી ને એવો કોઈ અહેસાસ પણ ન હોય કે ગાંધીનું હોવું એટલે શું એની એની શું એવી વિશ્વમાં એમની એટલી મોટી કરન્સી કેમ છે ગાંધીની એનો આપણને અહેસાસ પણ ન હોય વાંચન પણ ન હોય અથવા એવી રીતે વિચાર્યું પણ ન હોય આપણે મોટે ભાગે આ વાયલન્સ ના રસ્તે ઉપર ચાલનારા હીરો ઉપર ઘણું બધું વિચારી લીધું હોય અને બીકોઝ દેટ ઇઝ અન ઇઝી શોર્ટ કટ ઓલ્સો સો વેન વી સી ઇન પોસ્ટેરિટી આપણે બંને યુદ્ધના એ જોઈએ પોસ્ટેરિટી દેન વી રિયલાઇઝ કે વાયલન્સના માર્ગે તમે ચાલો તો શું થાય અલ્ટિમેટલી યુ વિલ બી કિલ્ડ એન્ડ યુ વિલ બી પ્રુવન અ સ્ટેરિસ્ટ જે આ લોકો સાથે થાય છે જે આપણા હીરો છે પાછા નવા હીરો નવ યુવાનો જે છે એની સાથે આપણી સરકારે એ જ કર્યું જે ભગતસિંહની સાથે બ્રિટિશ સરકારે કરવું હતું પછી તો એ હિસ્ટોરિકલી એવું થયું કે એ લોકોએ રાજ છોડી દીધું ને આપણે રાજમાં આવ્યા એટલે આપણે ફરીથી એ ટેરરિસ્ટ ને ફ્રીડમ ફાઇટર તરીકે લખવાનું શરૂ કર્યું જૂના તમે ડોક્યુમેન્ટ કાઢો કોર્ટ કેસ જે થયેલા ભગતસિંહના તો એ કોર્ટ કેસમાં તો ટેરરિસ્ટ જ લખેલું છે ઇટ ઇઝ ટેરરિસ્ટ ભગતસિંહ ઇઝ રિટર્ન જે રીતે આ દલજીત ને એના મિત્રો બધા એ બધા ટેરરિસ્ટ તરીકે જ રહી જાય છે ફિલ્મ પૂરી થાય છાપામાં there is one character who is also uh, who is coming from uh, uh, the this uh, the dalit community he is the the political leader young person and political leader uh, not political but a social activist and is struggling for that and obviously police are looking for him that he is going to promote violence and other thing but uh, but when we 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 uh, we understand that character we find that he was always telling everybody that never do violence ભલે એ લોકો તમને મારે તો માર ખાઈ લેવાના પણ તમારે એની સામે હથિયાર નહીં ઉપાડવાનું જયારે પોલીસ એને ઉપાડીને લઈ જાય એને એન્કાઉન્ટર કરવાની છે એને ખબર પડે ત્યારે પણ એ તો એમ જ કે છે કે આઈ એમ નોટ ફોર વાયોલન્સ અને એના લોકોને સતત એમ કે યુ ડોન્ટ પિક અપ વેપન તમારે હથિયાર ક્યારેય ઉપાડવાના નથી જો તમે હથિયાર ઉપાડશો તો સામે વાળી વ્યક્તિ જે સત્તામાં છે એને હથિયાર ઉપયોગ કરવાનો તમે એક મોકો આપી દેશો અને એની પાસે જેટલા હથિયાર છે કાયદા કાનૂન છે કાયદો બનાવવાની સત્તા છે એ એમ ક્યારેય તમે હથિયારથી પહોંચી નહીં જ શકો નો વે દેટ યુ વિલ બી એબલ ટુ ડિફીટ દેમ ઇન ધ ઇન ધ ઇન ધ ઇન ઇન ધ ફાઇટ વિથ વેપન તમે કેટલીક ટ્રેન લૂટશો ફ્રીડમ ફાઇટર કેટલી ટ્રેન લૂટી શકે કેટલા વેપન બનાવી શકે સામેવાળા લોકો પાસે હંમેશા વધુ જ વેપન હોય એ ટેન્કો લઈને આવીને ઉભા રહી જાય તમારી પાસે થ્રી નોટ થ્રી હોય રાઇફલ તો સામે ટેન્ક આવીને ઉભી રહે તો તમે ક્યાં સુધી એ રીતે લડી શકો તો એ એ રીતે તો હાર જ છે that was uh, that is coming even in film article 15 by nishad's character which again you can say gandhian character ene par tame gandhian tarike joi shako ja emno encounter thai jaye che ane eno mrutyu thai jaye che that is a tragic end to that idea etle gandhian vichar je colonial samay ma british raj same chailo article 15 evo prashna kare ke ej ej vichar apri sarkaro same na chale bharat ma apri sarkar same pan aa rasto na chale apre we know that the farmers are sitting there on the gandhian mark for last 7 8 months sat 8 mahina thi betha che ema kadaj pachi koi bhagat singh ubo thai ne ke ave bomb dhadako karvo padse sarkar nahi sambhale 
બહેરી સરકાર હવે નહીં સાંભળે પણ એ એવું કરશે તો એની ભૂલ જ હશે જો હજી આજે પણ એ એવું કરશે તો ઇટ વિલ બી ધ મિસ્ટેક ઇફ ઇટ ગોઝ ફોર સેવન લોંગ યર્સ દેન ઓલ્સો ધ વિક્ટરી વિલ બી વિથ ધેમ ઇફ દે વિલ સીટ બિકોઝ ધીઝ આર વેરી લોંગ વોર્સ આ દાયકાઓ સુધી ચાલે એવી યુદ્ધો હોય છે ઇમેજિન કે ગાંધી ક્યારે આવે છે આફ્રિકાથી સત્યાગ્રહ ની લડતમાં એ અચાનક ત્યાંથી અહીં ભારત આવે પછી કેટલા દસકાઓ સુધી એ લોકો લડ્યા છે કેટલા દસકાઓ તમે એકદમ યુવાન હોય એમાંથી સાવ ડોસા બની જાઓ પછી સામે દેખાય પણ નહીં હજી કઈ હાથમાં આવશે કે નહીં એટલે ગમે એવા માણસો હિંમત હારી જાય કે આમ તો થશે જ નહીં બટ યુ હેવ ફેથ કે નહીં આપણે નહીં તો પછી કોઈ કરશે બટ યુ હેવ ટુ ગીવ ધેમ ધ પાથ દેટ પાથ દેટ ઇઝ વેરી ઇન્ટરેસ્ટિંગ એટલે આજે વાયલન્સ નો માર્ગ ઉપર જે સેલિબ્રેટ આ ફિલ્મ કરે છે સેલિબ્રેશન દેટ ધીસ ફિલ્મ એન્ડ ઇટ વોઝ ધ ટાઈમ એક એવો સમય હતો ઇન્ડિયામાં હજી પણ છે એવો સમય ને સમય વધતો જાય છે અત્યારે એટલે ઘણા લોકો બહુ ચિંતાતુર હોય કે આ જે સમય વધી રહ્યો છે વાયોલન્સ નો જે રીતે આપણા હનુમાનજી ના ચહેરાઓ બદલાઈ રહ્યા છે એ જોતા ડર લાગે કે ડર લાગે કે ધીસ ઇઝ ધીસ ઇઝ ધીસ ઇઝ અ વેરી શોર્ટ કટ કાઇન્ડ ઓફ અ થિંગ વેર ઇન વી વિલ લીડ ટુ વી વિલ ટર્ન અ સોસાયટી ઇન ટુ પીપલ ફૂલ ઓફ હેટરેડ નફરત થી ભરેલા લોકો જામાં નિર્માણ થાય છે એ જ થશે વધુ ને વધુ નફરત કરતા લોકોનું નિર્માણ વધુ થશે ઓન ધીસ પાથ ઓલ્સો so that that also can be seen in this context the path of violence non violence the film's answer is violence but the the way the tragedy happens we also get a very interesting message that perhaps that is not the right right way you you have not narrated your story in a proper way tame tamari vat barabar na kari sakya tame tamne itihas ma to ek antakvadi tarike j lakhaya tame chelle etlu saru kaam karva pachi pan atlo saras badlav aviya pachi pan tame am to nathara j hata નાલાયક જ હતા પણ પછી એક સ્ક્રિપ્ટ વાંચતા વાંચતા થોડું એક પેટ્રોટિઝમ જાગેલ પણ એ પેટ્રોટિઝમ પણ પછી યુ આર નોટ એબલ ટુ ડુ એનીથિંગ વેરી સિગ્નિફિકન્ટ સિગ્નિફિકન્ટ એને એ રીતે કે કોઈ પિતાજી કરપ્શન ન કરે અથવા કોઈ બાળક છે એના પિતાજીને એ પ્રશ્ન કરે કે તમે આ પૈસા ક્યાંથી લઈને આવો છો આ કરપ્શન તો નથી કરતા ને કે મિનિસ્ટર પણ કરપ્શન એ થાય એ સોલ્યુશન આવે તેને ઇટ ઇઝ અ ગુડ સોલ્યુશન પણ એ સોલ્યુશન ઉપર આપણે નથી પહોંચી શકાય આપણે એ પછી પણ ના દસકાઓમાં પંદર વર્ષમાં છેલ્લા વી હેવ સીન કે લોટ્સ ઓફ કરપ્શન હેઝ ઇન્ક્રીઝ ધ લોટ ઇવન વિથ ધીસ કોર્પોરેટ કરપ્શન ઓલ્સો હેઝ ઇન્ક્રીઝ અ લોટ ઇન ડિફરન્ટ કેપેસિટી એન્ડ યંગસ્ટર સ્ટીલ ડોન્ટ હેવ દેટ મોરલ કરેજ ટુ ક્વેશ્ચન ધીયર પેરેન્ટ્સ કે આ ક્યાંથી આવે છે જે મેન્સ ફિલ્ડ પાર્કમાં એ હિંમત નહોતી એક પેલી ફેની ફેની નામનું પાત્ર પૂછવાનો ટ્રાય કરે છે કે આ પૈસા તમારી પાસે ક્યાંથી આવે છે સર થોમસ ને કોઈ પછી એનો કોઈ જવાબ નથી આપતું ને ફેની ગરીબ છે એની પાસે એટલી એજન્સી નથી કે આગ્રહ પૂર્વક કહી શકે એજન્સી નથી કે આગ્રહ પૂર્વક કે ના મને જવાબ આપો આ પૈસા તમારી પાસે ક્યાંથી આવે એને સર થોમસ કહી દે એટલે પછી યુ હેવ ટુ યુ કાન્ટ આસ્ક ધ ક્વેશ્ચન અગેન પણ એ પૈસા એન્ટીગુઆથી આવતા હતા અને એ પૈસામાં રક્ત હતું ઇટ વોઝ બ્લડ મની જેના માટે શબ્દ બ્લડ મની એ રીતે વપરાય એટલે હરામ ની કમાણી હોય હરામની કમાણી એટલે બ્લડ મની ઇન વન ઓર ધર વે સો દેટ વે ઓલ્સો ધીસ થિંગ્સ કેન બી ક્વેશ્ચન વોટ એડવર્ડ સઈદ ઇન કલ્ચર ઇન ઇમ્પીરિયાલિઝમ ઇઝ ક્વેશ્ચનિંગ અબાઉટ મેન્સ ફિલ્ડ પાર્ક જેન ઓસ્ટિન નોવેલ ધ સેમ ક્વેશ્ચન કેન બી રેઇઝ વિથ ધીસ કોન્ટેક્સ ઓલ્સો ઓકે યસ એનીબડી એલ્સ ઇન ધ કોમેન્ટ લેટ મી સી ઇફ દેર આર એની એની થિંગ્સ દેર ઓકે Uh, yes lata has put this question that was about hindi uh, 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 they cannot speak uh, uh, or understand hindi language but they can speak but apart from this uh, this point uh, also we can say that uh, these are stereotypes uh, this one story you are very well connected with uh, chimamand goes which uh, is this danger of one story so we think that uh, all white people are very good in english language uh, hindi to bhuli jao પણ આપણને બીજી એક જે ગેરમાન્યતા હોય કે ગોરા લોકો એટલે બહુ જ અંગ્રેજી સારું આવડતું જ હોય બટ ઇટ ઇઝ નોટ સો ઇટ ઇઝ નોટ સો મોટા ભાગે વિશ્વમાં અંગ્રેજી ભાષા બોલનારા ઘણા બધા છે એનું એક મહત્વનું કારણ એ છે કે ઘણા બધા ભારતીયો અંગ્રેજી બોલે છે સો મેની ઇન્ડિયન્સ આર સ્પીકિંગ અને ઇંગ્લેન્ડમાં બોલનારા લોકો અંગ્રેજી કરતા ભારતમાં વધુ લોકો બોલે છે અંગ્રેજી વી નો પોપ્યુલેશન પોપ્યુલેશન એટલું બધું છે કે ઇંગ્લેન્ડ તો કેટલું છે નાનકડું એવું ટાપુ છે ટાપુ આઇલેન્ડ છે એમાં કેટલા લોકો રહેતા હોય ગુજરાત કરતા એ નાનું તો બટ ઇન ઇન્ડિયા લાર્જ નંબર ઓફ ઇન્ડિયન સ્પીક ઇંગ્લિશ એટલે અંગ્રેજી ભાષા ખૂબ બોલાય છે અને પછી અમેરિકા પણ અમેરિકા ઇઝ ઇઝ અ કન્ટ્રી વેર ઓલ્સો લાર્જ નંબર ઓફ પીપલ સ્પીક ઇંગ્લિશ નાવ 
પણ એમાં સ્પેનિશ બોલનારા ખૂબ જ વધારે છે સ્પેનિશ અને ફ્રેન્ચ ભાષા દેટ ઓલ્સો ઇઝ લાર્જ નંબર બિકોઝ દેર આર ઓલ્સો ધ કોલોનીઝ એ પણ બહુ મોટી કોલોનીઓ હતી ફ્રેન્ચ કોલોનીઝ એટલે ફ્રેન્ચ કોલોનિયાલિઝમ પણ છે અમેરિકન કોલોનિયાલિઝમ પણ છે અને બ્રિટિશ કોલોનિયાલિઝમ વી બાય એન્ડ લાર્જ ટ્રાય ટુ અન્ડરસ્ટેન્ડ બ્રિટિશ કોલોનિયાલિઝમ બટ ધીસ લેંગ્વેજ ઇઝ ઓલ્સો દેર સો લાર્જ નંબર ઓફ વ્હાઇટ પીપલ ડુ નોટ નો ઇંગ્લિશ લેંગ્વેજ દેર ડુ નોટ નો ઇંગ્લિશ લેંગ્વેજ અને તેમાં પણ જો ફ્રેન્ચ હોય તો એ તો એને આવડતો હોય તો એ ના બોલે જેમ આપણે ઘણી વખત સાઉથ ઇન્ડિયાની વાર્તાઓ સાંભળીએ કે ત્યાં લોકોને હિન્દી સાથે અણગમો એટલે આવડતું હોય તો એ ના પડે કે ના હિન્દી નહીં ઇંગ્લિશ અથવા તમિલ ભાષા ઇંગ્લિશ હોય મલયાલી ઇંગ્લિશ હોય તમિલ બટ નો હિન્દી એ જે આપણે સાંભળતા હોય વાર્તા સાંભળતા હોય કારણ ત્યાં ખરેખર એવું નથી વેન આઈ વેન્ટ ટુ કેરેલા કેરેલા યુનિવર્સિટી ઇન ત્રિવેન્દ્રમ વેન આઈ વેન્ટ દેર આઈ વોઝ આસ્કિંગ કે અહીંયા હિન્દીમાં એમ એ કરતા વિદ્યાર્થી કેટલા હિન્દીમાં એમ એ કોઈ કરે એટલે આપણને હોય કે અહીંયા તો હિન્દી કોઈ ભણતું જ નહીં હોય પણ ના એમાં લાર્જ નંબર ઓફ સ્ટુડન્ટ દેર દેર હુ વેર ડુઈંગ એમ એ ઇન હિન્દી ઇન ત્રિવેન્દ્રમ ઇન યુનિવર્સિટી ઓફ કેરેલા એના એક્સટર્નલ ડિપાર્ટમેન્ટમાં ત્યારે પણ ઘણા બધી મોટી માત્રામાં વિદ્યાર્થીઓ હિન્દી ભણી રહ્યા હતા તમિલનાડુમાં પણ યંગસ્ટર્સ આર આ સ્ટડીંગ હિન્દી લેંગ્વેજ બિકોઝ દે ગેટ અ ચાન્સ ટુ વર્ક એવરીવેર ઇન ઇન્ડિયા નોર્થ ઇન્ડિયામાં જોબ મળે તો તમે આસાનીથી જઈ શકો એટલે ધ યંગ પીપલ ઇન તમિલનાડુ બટ ઇઝ અ પોલિટિક્સ દેર ઇઝ અ પોલિટિક્સ ઓફ લેંગ્વેજ એન્ડ પોલિટિશિયન્સ વિલ નોટ અલાઉ ધીસ સિંગલ લેંગ્વેજ પોલિસી એન્ડ અધર થિંગ્સ ઓલ્સો બટ ફ્રેન્ચ ફ્રેન્ચ બિલીવ દેટ અવર લેંગ્વેજ ધેર લેંગ્વેજ ઇઝ ધ પ્યોરેસ્ટ લેંગ્વેજ એન્ડ દેસ એ દેટ ઇંગ્લિશ ઇઝ વર્નાટ્યુલર લેંગ્વેજ ઇંગ્લિશ ઇઝ અ વર્નાટ્યુલર લેંગ્વેજ એન્ડ ઇંગ્લિશ ઇમ્પ્યોરિટી ભરેલી છે એટલે એ લોકો એ ભાષાનો સતત વિરોધ કરતા રહેતા હોય છે ઓકે સો યુરોપિયન ઓલ્સો હેડ ધીસ ધેર ઓન પોલિટિક્સ યુરોપિયન કન્ટ્રીઝ ને પણ આપસમાં ખૂબ જ ઝઘડા છે અને એટલે જ ઇંગ્લેન્ડ પેલા યુરોપિયન યુનિયન નો ભાગ પણ નથી બનતું એકલું જુદું રહે છે ઇંગ્લેન્ડ યુરોપિયન યુનિયન નો ભાગ પણ એ બનતું નથી ઇલેક્શન વોટ કરીને લોકો જુદા રહેલા છે એન્ડ અધર યુરોપિયન કન્ટ્રીઝ ઓલ્સો હેવ લોટ્સ ઓફ પ્રોબ્લેમ પોલિટિકલ પ્રોબ્લેમ છે જેમ આપણે પાકિસ્તાન સાથે હોય કે ચાઇના સાથે હોય તો સેમ કાઇન્ડ ઓફ થિંગ સાથે આમાં યુરોપિયન કન્ટ્રીઝ ઓલ્સો પણ તેમ છતાં પણ ત્યાંની વાતો કેમ આવી બધી ખરાબ ના આવે કારણ કે લોકો એજ્યુકેટેડ વધુ હોય સમજદાર વધુ હોય એટલે નક્કી કરે કે આપણે આમ ઝઘડીને મરી જવું છે કે આ બધાનું ઓવરઓલ ડેવલપમેન્ટ કરવું છે હ્યુમન ડેવલપમેન્ટ બધાનું સાથે મળીને આપણા જે રાગ દ્વેષો છે એને એને છુપાવીને પણ આપણે સાથે કામ કેમ કરી શકાય એ સમજણ હોય તો બધા સાથે કામ કરી શકે નહીં તર આપણે જ્યાં જેમ થાય એમ ટિકટોક તો કે બેન કરી દો પેલું તો કે બેન કરી દો આપણે એવી રમત રમતા રહીએ રાધર દેન મુવિંગ ઇન ટુ અ ફેર ડાયલોગ વિથ ધ નેબરિંગ કન્ટ્રીઝ ઓલ્સો સો લેંગ્વેજ વી કેન સી દેર એન્ડ દેન રિદ્ધિ હેઝ પુટ ધીસ કોમેન્ટ હિયર Sonia and so you go to classrooms his first meeting with the friends is disruptive members of Hindu political party youth wing uh, clad in saffron cloths and led by Lakshman Pandey object to parting habits of college uh, students yeah okay the attitude of the Hindu party worker is has been compared to the actions of the radical Hindu political group whose members not only oppose western culture but also the presence of Muslims in India yes that is also a good point with the film is narrating yeah that is a kind of an interesting truth about today's india uh, yes yeah, so and then one character lakshman called aslam to pakistan yeah okay that also is a very normal dialogue yeah, that we have uh, uh, come across in real life also uh, we have also seen uh, 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 tickets of aeroplane shared on social media uh, given to people like amir khan and sahrukh khan yeah, whenever they they said anything yeah, loko e ટિકિટ ઇસ્યુ કરીને આપે કે આ ટિકિટ તમે પાકિસ્તાન ચાલ્યા જાઓ ટુ પીપલ લાઈક આમિર ખાન ઓર શાહરૂખ ખાન વેન દે મેડ સમ ક્રિટિકલ કોમેન્ટ અગેન્સ્ટ આઈધર ગવર્મેન્ટ ઓર ઇન્ડિયા અજય ડેથ એન્ડ ધ સબસિક્વન્ટ લાઠી ચાર્જ બાય ધ પોલીસ આર ધ ટર્નિંગ પોઈન્ટ ઇન ધ મુવી ઓકે એન્ડ પોલિટિકલ કરપ્શન રિસન્ટ પોલિટિક પોલીસ એટ્રોસિટીઝ ઓન સ્ટુડન્ટ પ્રોટેસ્ટ ઇન ઇન્ડિયા Uh, to highlight the same yet again recreates jallianwala bag massacre in which we observe the defense minister ordering the massacre on helpless people one of whom is eh, even ajay there okay uh, hmm, and uh, the the, uh, the the in the article the anti colonial revolutionary in contemporary bollywood cinema uh, jen dark uh, has argued that the white women's association with capitalism 
and modernity in rang de basanti buttresses the dominance of the indian male and affirms nationalist constructions of gender also yeah that is a good point there and good that you have asked also yeah okay so uh, this point uh, the last point uh, we see uh, about uh, masculinity uh, masculinity uh, and uh, uh, and the, the white women uh, white women capitalism modernity uh, and the, the the very idea about indian male uh, which affirms nationalist constructions of gender now what we have seen here is that that nationalism is connected with masculinity uh, masculinity so the very idea normally in this street that is the people having uh, this uh, uh, violent way of getting freedom in that there is masculinity of of man is celebrated and and you use weapon you throw bomb that all are this uh, uh, street and that was celebrated uh, so male dominance chauvinism uh, 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 that all gets connected with the very idea about nationalist uh, freedom struggle now against this there was this movement of gandhi and in gandhian movement gandhi was able to even even uh, inspire women in large number to come on the roads which is very surprising even today ajay pan e joye ke gandhi ni rally ma asankhya striyo pan avti hati ane striyo emna gharena ne apva pan taiyar thati hati so which is very surprising in that those days जैसे सोशियल मीडिया के नहीं घर सुधी पहुंची दिवाल छे पुरुषों दिवाल तोड़ी अंदर पहुंचवें तो गांधी त्या सुधी पहुंचारों स्त्रीओन लार्ज नंबर वायोलेंस मुवमेंट में भागीदार बनव देट वोज रियली सरप्राइजिंग मार खाता अंग्रेज पुलिस लाकड़ियों मार खाई ने घर में झगड़ा खूब घर में झगड़ा गांधी आए तो महिलाओं निकली पड़ती पति झगड़ा कर घनी जगह कदाच एम घर पुरुष सदस्य हो ब्रिटिश राजनी से नौकरी करता हो बिजनेस करता होनी हो तो महिला घनी वर्ताओं थी आ प्रकार की खूबज वर्ताओं लखाई है Even this film, 1984 love story, yeah, 1984 love story, 1942, huh? 1942 a love story, yes, 1942 uh, a love story. That film also, huh? uh, where uh, Anil Kapoor played the role of a protagonist huh? in that film. That also is something interesting in this line. But the idea that nationalism is connected with masculinity, and you require that male chauvinism, another thing. it has got uh, got reflected in many ways and how this gender the politics of gender played a vital role in nationalism now see uh, when we see nationalism and patriotism uh, two words and now people many time define both the things in a separate way patriotism means love for your country uh, love for your country and you are ready to die for your country that is patriotism uh, remember this difference uh, very carefully patriotism is a is a good word nationalism is a problematic proposition Nas patriotism is a good connotation like you are ready to die for your country nationalism you are ready to kill for your country <laughs> nationalism what you see is that you are ready to kill other for your uh, country in the name of the country no it is not for the country but in the name of nation in the name of country in the name of uh, love for the nation you are ready to kill the other whereas here you are ready to die you are ready to die here patriotism there is love there is love for your nation there there is hatred for other nations in nationalism there is hatred for other countries એટલે મને એમ થાય કે હું જો પાકિસ્તાન ને થોડી ગાળો ન દઉં તો હું દેશ પ્રેમી ન કહેવા મારે ચાઈના ને થોડી ગાળો દેવી જોઈએ રોજ ઉઠીને પેલું હેટ અવર જે થાતું 1984 માં સવારે ઉઠીને બધા ભેગા થઈને પાંચ દસ મિનિટ નફરત કરવાની કોને તો કે પેલો દુશ્મન છે પેલું કન્ટ્રી આપણા ઉપર હુમલો કરી રહ્યું છે એ કન્ટ્રી દુશ્મન છે એને ગાળો દઈ લો એને એના એના પક્ષમાં આ પપ્પુ બોલે છે પપ્પુ ને થોડી ગાળો દઈ દો પછી એના એના પક્ષમાં પેલો કેજરુવાલ બોલે છે એને થોડી ગાળો દઈ દો 
એટલે એ રીતે એ ચાલે કે થોડી કોણ ચાઈનાના પક્ષમાં બોલે છે કોણ પાકિસ્તાન નફરત કરવું એટ ઇઝ નેશનાલિઝમ એટલે એને એમ લાગે કે દેશ પ્રેમ એટલે મારે નફરત કરવાની બીજા લોકોને નફરત કરવાની દેશમાં રહેતા બીજી ધર્મના લોકોને નફરત કરવાની અન્ય દેશોને નફરત કરવાની જયારે પેટ્રોટિઝમ મીન્સ ટુ લવ ઇટ ઇઝ લવ ફોર યોર કન્ટ્રી અને એ પ્રેમ માટે નફરત જરૂરી નથી દેર ઇઝ નો નીડ ટુ હેટ અધર દેટ વાય ટુડે વી આર ટાઈમ એન્ડ અગેન રિમેમ્બરિંગ ધીસ પોઈન્ટ કે કોઈ પણ જાતની ડિબેટ કે ડિસ્કશન જયારે આપણને નફરત તરફ લઈ જાય ત્યારે આપણે થોડું ચોક્કસ ના થઈ જવું પડે કે વાય વાય ઇટ ઇઝ ઇટ નેસેસરી ફોર મી ટુ હેટ એનીબડી વાય ઇટ ઇઝ નેસેસરી આપણે કેટલી બધી પેલી કોલર ટ્યુન આપણે સાંભળી હમણાં કોરોના ટ્યુન કોરોના ટ્યુન માં કે અમે બીમારી સે લડના હે બીમાર સે નહીં એટલે બીમારી સે લડના હે બીમાર સે નહીં એટલે વ્યક્તિઓને નફરત નથી કરવાની આપણે વ્યક્તિ કે શરૂઆતમાં તો કોરોના થયો તો લોકો તૂટી પડતા એના ઉપર કે હો આ તો કૃનિકા કપૂરે પાર્ટી કરી લીધી અને પેલા એ ફેલાવી દીધો ને પેલા તબલીગી જમાતના લોકોએ નફરત ફેલાવીને કોરોના ફેલાવ્યો ને આપણે કેટલા બધા એગ્રેસિવ થઈ જતા હતા પેલો સફરજન ચાટીને વેચે છે ને પેલો શાકભાજી થૂકીને વેચે છે ને આ રીતે કોરોના ફેલાવી રહ્યા છે હવે અત્યારે ફેલાવતા હશે તો હવે કેમ મીડિયા કઈ બોલતું નથી કેમ નથી કે એક નફરત નો મેસેજ હતો એ બધાની અંદર એટલે એટલે વારંવાર કેવું પડતું કે બીમાર લોકોને નફરત નથી કરવાની બીમારી સામે લડવાનું છે આપણે નહીં કે બીમાર સામે તો એ જ રીતે ધ સેમ થિંગ હિયર ઓલ્સો પીપલ નોટ ધીઅર આઈડિયાઝ દેટ ઇઝ પ્રોબ્લેમેટિક સો ઇન ધીસ આઈડિયા પેટ્રોટિઝમ નેશનાલિઝમ નાવ સી વેન વેન ધીસ ફાઇટ્સ હેપન બિટવીન કન્ટ્રીઝ અને એ લડાઈ થાય ત્યારે બોર્ડર જે રીજન હોય બોર્ડર નો વિસ્તાર હોય ત્યાં ખૂબ જ ખૂના મકરી થતી હોય છે ખૂબ જ હત્યાકાંડો થતા હોય છે ફોર એક્ઝામ્પલ ઇન્ડિયા પાકિસ્તાન ઇવન વેન સેવનમાં બંને દેશો જુદા પડે છે અને પછી પણ બંને બોર્ડર ઉપર ખૂબ જ કારણ કે પંજાબ હતું તે વેચાઈ જાય છે બે ભાગમાં પાકિસ્તાનમાં એ પંજાબ જાય છે થોડું અને ઇન્ડિયામાં થોડું પંજાબ રહે છે એટલે ત્યાં પણ ખૂબ જ હિંસાઓ થાય છે અને ટ્રેન ટુ પાકિસ્તાન જે નવલકથા ખુશવંત સિંહ લખે તો કે બંને બાજુથી જે ટ્રેનો જતી ઇટ વોઝ ફૂલ ઓફ ડેડ બોડીઝ ફૂલ ઓફ ડેડ બોડીઝ આખે બંને લગભગ લગભગ ત્યાંથી આવે તો હિન્દુઓના ડેડ બોડીઝ આવે અહીંથી જાય તો મુસ્લિમોના જતા હોય ડેડ બોડીઝ અને એ સાથે બીજું જે થતું એ શું હતું કે બંને બંને ધાર્મિક આઈડેન્ટિટીની સ્ત્રીઓ ઉપર ખૂબ જ અત્યાચાર અને રેપ થતા હતા ખૂબ જ મોટી માત્રામાં રેપ અને અત્યાચાર એમના ઉપર થતા હતા Uh, let me share this book uh, um. just a minute i just there is a book written uh, it's a very interesting research book uh, written on uh, on this uh, brutal rapes on women during partition let me find that book uh, The book is written by Urvashi Butalia. Butalia. Huh? Urvashi Butalia. And the name of the book is The Other Side of Silence. The Other Side of Silence. The Other Side of uh, Silence. Yeah. by urvashi uh, butalia by urvashi butalia yeah okay i will give something to read on this huh? on this work uh, 
also uh, so uh, we get uh, still a better context on this okay. let me let me open this page and share the screen also with everybody uh, the work is uh, this uh, the other side of uh, silence uh, voices from the partition of india urvasi butalia okay. There are uh, okay, yeah, and uh, This also, the voices from the partition of India. Now see, what we see in this book, huh, which is the political partition of India caused one of the great human convulsions of history. Never before or since have so many people exchanged their homes and countries so quickly. In the space of few months, about 12 million people moved between the new trun truncated India and the two wings, uh, east and west, of the newly created Pakistan. By far the largest proportion of these refugees, more than 10 million of them crossed the western borders which divided the historic state of Punjab. Muslims are traveling west to Pakistan, Hindus and Sikhs east to India. Slaughter sometimes accompanied and sometimes prompted their movement. Many others died from malnutrition and contagious disease. Estimates of, uh, of dead vary from 2 lakh or 2 million, uh, but uh, that somewhere around uh, a million people died in a, a, a died is now widely accepted. As always there was, as always there was widespread sexual savagery. About 75,000 women are thought to have been abducted and raped by men of religious dif different from their own and aided uh, 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 and indeed, sometimes by men of their religion also. Uh, so this this is, is the story. This book is a story about uh, the women, uh, the women uh, who who suffered a lot. Uh, uh, the, the the story of the women uh, during this. Uh, it it conducted uh, uh, interviews of uh, seventy interviews of the survivors of the partition, uh, and. Uh, In that, uh, there is the, the women being uh, uh, being brutally raped uh, on either side of the world uh, during this uh, time. Uh, rape accounts still surface from India's partition 65 years on. Uh, and even in this, several works of arts, uh, works of research, which are talking about this work. And here also we find the reference to the same work, uh, even in this uh, uh, write-up also. Uh, in this, uh, the account, uh, if, let me enlarge this little bit so you can read this paragraph. 
in this work uh, by Urvashi Butalia, there is this reference uh, to the work by this, uh, the account of rehabilitation camp workers. Uh, rehabilitation, refugee camps, rehabilitation workers are intrinsic to tracing secret, intimate patterns of violence. In Mul Sota Ukhdela, uh, Mur Sota Suta. Mur Sota Ukhdela, huh? that is uh, the work, a biography of rehabilitation worker Kamla Ben Patel. Hmm? Kamla Ben Patel, a rehabilitation worker, and a temni biography. Hmm? Mur Sota Ukhdela. Patel reveals that the operation she worked with recovered 20,000 abducted women in the eight years following partition. Hmm? Partition Pachina Art Varasma. Uh, uh, okay, uh, let me share this. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Now I am reading from this page huh, if you are able to follow. Yeah, this uh, you can bookmark this site also, huh? uh, Women Under Siege, huh? yeah. uh, and then you can refer back this. So, here, Moor Sota Ukhrela, uh, Kamla Ben Patel, uh, Vis Hajarthi Vadus Trio, huh? Kaje Partisan Pache Art Varasma, Aparan Thailo Hatu, and a sex slave Tarike Rakhwa Maveli, huh? sex slave Tarike, Banebaj, India, Pakistan, and a Temna Upper Rape Tata, Ek Bijane Aple Panthati. Loko Sagawala ma is three wapta. Kaje a partisan na na bagrupe is three. Sateja tiacha tata. So uh, uh, this uh, in one incident Patel uh, uh, recounts 600 women were returned to a Gujarati camp by Pakistani official uh, under the Inter Dominion Agreement to treaties for exchange of abductees. She describes the women as broken by repeated rape and starvation uh, after being used by the Pakistani army. The stories of these abductions and rape caused panic in many rural areas, families reportedly save them from being defiled. Patel recounts numerous incidents of beheading, drowning, burning and execution by the male head of family in order to protect his women from the threat of dishonor. Now see, this all stories, this all stories are Abadu nationalism another work by uh, this is uh, uh, the, the no, another novel earth 1947 uh, earth 1947 uh, uh, is the, is a film also and also a novel earth 1947 uh, uh, directed by this but uh, yeah novel is cracking india cracking india bapsi sidwa bapsi sidwa uh, parsi novelist bapsi sidwa and uh, the novel is cracking india uh, cracking india and uh, it is turned into a film, uh, film known as uh, uh, Earth 1947. It is a part of a trilogy uh, directed by Deepa Mehta. Uh, Deepa Mehta's trilogy, Fire, Water and Earth. Uh, fire, Water and Earth, that is the trilogy. But Earth 1947, uh, uh, Cracking India, the novel. Uh, novel by uh, Babsi Sidwa. This novel also narrates uh, the, uh, the episode that uh, that uh, uh, during this partition time, uh, a Hindu man would go to brothel, uh, to the prostitution house, and ask specifically for a Muslim prostitute. Or uh, a Muslim would go for a prostitution and ask for a Hindu prostitute. And they would aggressively almost rape prostitutes also, and damage the body also, uh, and also damage the body. Now, what is this behavior? Uh, why they are behaving in, in this way? Because uh, th they, they think that I have to take a revenge uh, of something wrong that has happened to my country by these people. Uh, and for that, I will go and in search for a women of that identity and attack on women uh, and attack on women. So th it is here that we read that that uh, very idea about nationalism, the construction of nationalism is very much man centric uh, and women is always at the end of the suffering. Another story, if you want to see, then there is the story of, 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 of 1972, 71 war and this liberation of Bangladesh. East Pakistan became Bangladesh in 1971-72. And at that time also, so many Bangladeshis were fighting against Pakistani army. 
and pakistani army used to abduct the women uh, and, and 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 rape them and now see what happens after that after uh, after 9 months of that episode all those women would become pregnant and give birth to the children now what to do with this pregnant women uh, the huge problem that uh, the, the, the free nation the bangladesh also then uh, mujahir uh, rahman uh, was the prime minister and and there was a loud cry to kill all these women before they give birth to a child because there is the blood of pakistani uh, 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 military people in that and they said that we don't want anybody uh, in our, on our land born with pakistani blood bangladesh uh, and so they wanted to kill now see there, there is common religious identity dharma uh, ekach bangladesh pakistan but identities are different uh, bangla identity and this. and they, and many children were killed many children many women were killed also uh, in the in the same aspect so that is that point that very idea about nationalism the construction of gender that goes around all those thing is very very man centric uh, and women is on the on the suffering end of everything uh, is constantly at the suffering end of those things she becomes Uh, uh the object of uh, revenge being taken on either side and damaging the body raping the body that all becomes a part of uh, the, all those uh, things uh, also so that is that that context uh, which is also being uh, 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 remembered uh, in this uh, discussion uh, uh, here uh, when jen dark is talking about uh, uh, this idea now against this idea that the nationalism in india or south asia is very much patri patriarchal we can say or man centric which is which wherein the women's role is completely uh, as a receiver of damage in that now in that context what we see is that there is modernity there is uh, the new modernity where now women is leading something women is leading something so white women's uh, role which obviously gets connected with capitalism and modernity and see comes uh, as somebody who is holding a camera somebody is holding a camera and that is very interesting to see eh? who is holding the camera that person has the power over gaze eh? g a z e eh? gaze and the gaze controls the thing that what is to be seen apre su jovana che e ultimately kon nakki kare che to ke camera man nakki kare che camera kona hath ma che e any position gani power ni position che the one who has the camera in the in the in the hand that that defines Uh, uh, this power uh, dynamics or power position uh, also and this modernity or uh, 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 the white women's association with capitalism uh, the money uh, which is required for this that all gets connected uh, into uh, this reading of this uh, character with jen dark is trying to read uh, in this uh, and then it, it discusses the discussion goes into globalization and uh, how in this new global world uh, when uh, people from all the countries move very quickly from one place to another place or they are influenced by each other at that time what happens to uh, this people uh, that is south asian people here if we see or indian young people who has a different idea about nationalism and other thing and their their role of women in that also is defined in a much different way in their mind at that time when from the west women comes as a leader uh, or women comes as a controller how to pursue those things also becomes very difficult for uh, the, the men to battle with those uh, conflicts also but in globalization we will see uh, all those points that suddenly when our world that is our third world is exposed to the first world because of television because of media because of cinema uh, uh, how do they battle with those ideas how do they conflict uh, with those things that becomes very significant uh, to be studied uh, in this context uh, also uh the another point uh, which can be led from here uh, uh, into the the gender dynamics uh, and in a post colonial angle is what franz fano is looking at uh, the fano's reference also you might have seen uh, in the uh, in the same article is franz fano's uh, reference also you might have seen in the in the same context in the same article yeah? uh, uh, this uh, this article uh, is by vidu agarwal uh, where uh, jen dark is referred uh, in that vidu agarwal's article uh, there is this reference to uh, fano also and uh, uh, how, uh, 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 this comes uh, in, in the same continuation jen dark uh, jen dark has argued that the white women's association with capitalism and modernity in rangde basanti lagan and uh, indian 
uh, and Indian advertisements buttresses the dominance of Indian male uh, affirms nationalist construction this and then the next line after this yeah? dark suggests that romance with the white women offers a form of redemption for the various humiliations of the Indian male suffered in the colonial dynamic and offers a fantasy of symbolic wholeness and then there is uh, like what friends Fano wanted to tell us uh, this so what happens in this narrative uh, is that that even the filmmaker uh, also tries to make a story that this white woman falls in love with uh, our Bhuvan our Bhuvan or our Daljit uh, what is that? The same idea. Male nationalism no idea. Ke stri sathe apre in a sarir ne kabjo karwano se. In a man upar kabjo karwano se. That that ideas are controlling uh, the making of the film. Matlab banne film ma uh, white uh, women uh, no association e prakar no se. Ke banne stri wo aina uh, 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 apra male protagonist uh, uh, brown skinned uh, male protagonist na prem ma padi jai chhe. Elizabeth also and Sue also. Uh, so that 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 is. Now, this is a Bharti Purushni gaze ma any gaze ma. Emne a chup ecological kathas man ma kya bol gaao apni upar raj kari gaya. Par apna bhu ne to Elizabeth prem ma wadi di. So apna Dalji the Sue ne na prem ma wadi di. That is. Uh, uh, seen as a sense of victory, a ek victory tarike jo aar. Emni stri ne ne prem ma padvi, a ek jeet tarike, a vastu jo ama aves. That is also a patriarchy connected with nationalist construction of gender. Uh, that is seen, and you will see this idea. A uh, uh, idea post-colonial ma irite vachai ke kai rite apra narration ma. In our narration, we try to say that our women, uh, our men. Uh, 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 is loved by uh, the white women and apri apri stri o pan hoy to e black karta gora na prem ma vadhu pade e apre je english english and queen ma apre joyu hotu in that way uh, or, or even if you want to connect that with apart from post coloniality into feminism then also we can see ke tame india pakistan ni filmo juo ha jema india pakistan character hoy to apri filmo ma purush che indian as and a hero in Pakistan, yes. You can see Gadar, the film Ani Sathej released thai hati. Lagan na Divsej, Gadar film pan, Gadar ek prem katha released thai hati. Athwa, you see Veer Zara, Veer Zara film. So you will see male is Indian. The heroine is Pakistan. And as you see Pakistan ni film jo, to tiya hero Pakistani ho and hero in Indian ho. Okay, Pakistan pa am to India noj bhaag, mansikta to sarkej ho. Surtalis pila to bada ekaj hata. To tiyane film ma apan ej bata. Etle j apanne Saniya Mirza upar bau garva thato na thi. Kada j etle j apanne Saniya Mirza. Jem Mitali Raj no apre garva thi vaat kariye. Yeho garva thi vaat apre. We are not talking about Saniya Mirza because she married to a Pakistani cricketer. Shoeb, who is that? Shoeb Khan I think. Yeah. So uh, that, that is the, uh, how uh, we, we see. Yeah? So that is our patriarchy, yeah? patriarchal notion. So what is the patriarchy? Ke dikri layawani hoy, daidewani hoy. In that we see a sense of victory, yeah? in different sense of victory that we see. Abradya samaniya lagna prasang maapan eu jova mauto hoy ke dikri na paksna je loko hoy e am ajiji karta hoy e niche betha hoy e garibda jeva hoy ane je hello. Chokro Varaja and Akutum Varahoi, Eam Tri Dadagiri Kartahoi, Erite Ekvartan, Lagna Prasangone Mapan, Abresadat Jotahoike, how we see the, the gender politics in different way also. But that when connected with post colonial, then how do we see ke, uh, our hero is being loved by uh, this white women? And we see a kind of a catharsis uh, into that which Fano wanted to say that uh, the brown people, brown men, black men, they have uh, a kind of uh, 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 obsession for white skin, sexual obsession for white skin. And uh, that also gets reflected in this. That also is a part of reading of post-coloniality uh, in, in the, the men-women relations. Okay. So, Malik, yeah, okay. 
Hiya, yeah, okay. Uh, any other observations or any other questions that would like to share? Anybody else? Yes, anybody? Other observations uh, or any other questions? This link I am sharing here. Uh, this is uh, the book by Urvasi Butalia, yes. uh, which speaks about the other side of the silence, yeah? the other side of silence, yeah? a book about the, the atrocities suffered by women yeah? during partition. Uh, cold though with uh, during part yeah that also mental stories also are talking a lot about uh, this uh, what happens to women in this partition and how male uh, uh, seeks a kind of a revenge uh, over women's body uh, uh, the damage that they have suffered uh, by uh, the political leaders uh, british raj ke uh, pakistan ke india na political leaders dwara thato damage uh, uh, a kai rite a, a a identity in his three upper theater curry judy judy rite a letter also yes so you can connect mento story also in that yeah uh, yes ah uh, yes any any other observations or any other thing that you would like to add here Yes, everybody, everybody is done with whatever you have noticed or observed. Okay, so if then nothing remains then to be studied, I, I think we can end our session here with this and uh, let me uh, end the recording also and our uh, upcoming class.